you know, being in the public eye the way you have been, especially with your relationships and how they've played out, you know, in the media and, and television, you know, you have so much, you know, attention on your relationships, but you said you haven't been in very many relationships in your whole life. No, I haven't. I mean, well, you, I think you said that you've only been with five people or you, all the people that you've been with in your whole life you can count on one hand? Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> I'm a relationship person. I get into, you know, romance and passion and all of that kind of stuff. And in order for me to get into that, I got to be in love. I can't even, you know. I'll be loving you. <laughs> so you've never had a one night stand? No. I was with my ex-husband my whole 20s. Like I was from 18 until 27. We got divorced when I was, I think I was 27, 28 or something. Okay. And well, and since that time, you know, you had a daughter with your ex. So that's two. Yeah. So that's like three, peop three people that we haven't accounted for. Mm-hmm. You know, women are taught to be more, we grow up with dolls and families. You guys have like, as kids, you guys have action figures and even the women action figures have these big boobs. Like you guys are made to be hunters and, <laughs> and we're, we're, we're taught to cook. You know, we have the little cooking kitchen and we have the little... You know, you have to be this way. You have to be that way. Having a baby out of wedlock alone was, you got look. you know. I had my first son with my ex-husband before I got married and I remember going to the grocery store and the older women would be looking at my hand like, is there a ring there? And it made you feel like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, how it is. I mean, you know, you, you just don't see the, this generation of women really speaking like that at all. Like, like this, this whole tone that I'm hearing, I haven't heard this in, in decades. Wow. Well, I mean, not really. I, I, come, in, I come across a lot of really, uh, I think maybe the younger generation, I don't know. Um, I'm a little scared for my, my kids and the way that society is now but I'm sure our parents were too the people I grew up seeing was Whitney Houston Whitney Houston was um, you know she was very conservative and you know she just sang and she was beautiful and that was it she wasn't stacked or you know <laughs> there wasn't any of that I mean I'm sure that you were you know approached by you know successful men and men that could you know, help you get out of whatever financial situation that you were in at the time? No, not really. You know, uh, sometimes when I was on the road, sometimes like Interscope would say, yeah, such and such, like some such and such ball player sent flowers here for you. And we would just say, ah, and that was it. But nobody ever approached me and said, hey, what's up, girl? So this, that, and the other. I was just working all the time. And after that, I, after... We came out when I was 18. I had my first son when I was 21. I got married when I was 23. Mm -hmm. So, and when I got married, I, I got married. Like I took vows and I was, I believed in those vows and I was faithful to my husband. So. Well, after you got divorced and became single, then, then what happened? You know, men weren't approaching you then? No, I mean, no, not, not anybody in that position. Like I said, I'm, I'm most of the time I'm with my kids. Okay, so so you so you don't get any interesting DMs these days or, or anything else like that because the internet kind of changed the whole dating world. No, and I'm I, actually I I mean of course you know like as far as fans are concerned I get fans trying to rap you know on uh, Instagram and stuff. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so so you're completely single right now. I'm single right now. Yes. Okay. So, so what would it take to, to impress Claudette Ortiz right now? Um, you know what? I'm not really, I, I think intelligence, like the conversation would really have to be, 
I can immediately like be like eh, from conversation. Conversation immediately just can turn me off. Like if you say the wrong thing, because people can say something, it can tell you a lot about somebody from one thing that they say. You know what I'm saying? You seem to be pretty picky. Rightfully so. I mean. Fair enough. You know, I think everybody should be picky.